Um, you mentioned the fact that people had so many titles and it was obviously a very fluid situation in terms of who was doing what. You just spoke about it a little bit, but I imagine even with a great team, there must be issues then of territory and of people feeling why is someone doing this? Or how do you define areas that need to be done? Or is everything just looked at as a task? I mean, you mentioned shooting somebody is a good way for everyone to know we're not going to deal with it. But there must be other times that it come up. Well, the, the picture of me holding that check was a fantastic day. The next day, they pulled me in the office and said, you now have a new, I, I did that deal. And they said, now your job is to run that channel, Lou and deliver on that check that we just got. And it was a big smile to an, oh shit, how do we make that happen now, right? And so I think there was probably a, sh a big shared sense of responsibility to deliver on that, because we were all, like the light shined. I mean, you, your successes were your successes, but if you failed, everybody knew it. Yeah, well, I, I, it was a pretty good team, I think, too. Yeah. I mean, and we were moving so fast. Do, like, there was no time. Like, there was literally no time for anybody to be self-interested or concerned about that. It was, we had so much to get done that it just had to happen. Like, I, 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 didn't, I don't remember feeling that kind of, like, oh, that's my turf, that's somebody else's turf. I remember feeling like when somebody else would, Scott would always say, make sure you can find someone that, to replace yourself, because then there's so much more to do that you'll, you can go do something else. So get, find, hire really smart people who can do what you're doing so you can go on and do something else. So there, was, there wasn't a feeling of like empire building. It was more, let's get smart people getting stuff done so we yeah. can get the other yeah. stuff. And I, I think I'm, I'm going to give a lot of credit to Bill for like Bill's bullshit meter. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> you can tell. I mean, if you couldn't tell, like didn't suffer any of that right. at all. Right. Like you were called out every day, screaming down the hall, where's your deliverable? What's working? Did you fuck this up again? Um, there, it was. There, you, <laughs> I, I, can't, I can't imagine. I can't imagine that too. <laughs> but like, if people... If Bill's a people person. Bill, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. never, never, right? You found the dirty diapers under your chair. Right. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. Oh, and a prankster. Yes. yes. But, if, you, but if, if you even tried it, Bill would call you on it yeah. Yeah, right I think, away. I think their, Mercilessly. their partnership was a, yeah. you know, yeah. a remarkably important part of what made it successful, right? Mm -hmm. Bill's focus on making sure that the trains ran and we delivered, we, it w we would not have all delivered if Bill hadn't forced us to be as accountable as he did.